and inventors. Yeah, uh, Justin, I have a quick question for you. Did you ever play with the Super Soaker water gun growing up? I, <laughs> I think did. that's actually you uh, right there. You know, Super Soakers, the garden hose, whatever I could find. Right. Well, interesting fact, a black engineer by the name of Lonnie Johnson actually invented that. Here he is right there, and I was actually blown away by that fact. Now, there are a lot of African-American inventors out there who may not have household names, but have pretty famous products. Let's take a look at this. 100 exhibits. I think it's a great experience for all the ages that are here. Line the floor of the American Jazz Museum. Our exhibit starts with ancient African culture and works up to the present day with the to the gentleman named Jesse Russell. Russell's the reason we can talk on cell phones. And he developed the formula that makes it possible for all these cell phone towers that you see around the country to be built. And builders like him, all black inventors, have made some pretty hefty contributions to the industry. I'm glad that many things were invented by African Americans. We can thank Emmett McHenry for making room for Facebook, Twitter, even Google. But he's the guy who invented dot com, dot edu, dot gov, uh, dot net. McHenry didn't get a patent and his efforts are widely unknown. There are people who still are given full credit for things that maybe they shouldn't get full credit for. Like Lewis H. Latimer, Thomas Edison is known for inventing the light bulb, but Latimer made it stay bright and stay on. And he's the guy who invented and got the patent for the filament that Edison eventually used. The exhibit is only up for one day. It started 15 years ago, and Lamb hopes to rebuild it after relocating to the Midwest. Now, uh, that was actually at the American Jazz Museum near 18th and Vine. Now, I have ties to one of those inventors. Here he is, Louis Lattimore, is actually my great great.